Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about validation model. So, validation model is used to validate the freshness of a response that is cached. The expiration model tells that we need to have the data in our cache up to a certain number of seconds, for example, 2500 seconds. And the validation model tells that you need to check with the server whether the data that is in your cache is fresh or not. We will see an example in the next slide so you will better able to understand. As I said, cache needs to be checked with the server if the response has expired. So it uses a set of validators that it validates against. Okay? So there are two types of validators that can be used. One is the strong validator and the next one is the weak validator. Strong validator does a byte to byte comparison of the representation whereas a weak validator just looks for a semantic equivalence and most of the time strong validators are used. So let us see the example here. Suppose I have the client and I have the cache which could be on the browser or it could be on the network and I have the API over here. Okay. So, the first time I send a request to the API, okay. the API sends the request to the cache or the response to the cache and the data is cached for 2500 seconds. Okay. And within this 2500 seconds, whenever the client sends a request, it has been interpreted by your cache and sends the response to your client. But what if 2500 seconds are over? After 2500 seconds, what happens is that the client prepares a fresh request and sends all the way to your server or API and the server again prepares the response and it sends all the way to the client. So, the client needs to download the entire data again. This is fine if the data has indeed changed after 2500 seconds. Suppose the data has not changed. What happens is that even though the data has not changed and even though the previous data is available in my cache, the client is going and downloading the old data again. So this is a huge waste of network bandwidth. So to overcome this, the validation model specifies that the server sets something called an e tag. For example, at the first request, the server will send the response and along with the response, it will send a e tag header, for example, 3424. And once the 2500 seconds are over, after the 2500 seconds, if the client sends a new request, what it will do is it will send a request with if none match header with the same e tag over here. Okay. If the request is not updated or rather the resource is not updated or if the resource is same, the server sends a 304 not modified message to the cache. Okay. If the resource is same okay, for this particular e tag, so this e tag represents a particular resource, it could be a product resource or customer resource. If the resource is same, the server sends a 304 to the cache okay? and the cache sends 200 to the client. Okay? If the resource is updated, meaning if the resource has changed, new data will be downloaded by the client and that data will be cached for the next 2500 seconds. So you can see how validation model helps us in avoiding lot of network round trips and it also helps in avoiding download of data that is already served within my cache thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning